hi everyone and uh, welcome back so this is the weather application which we are going to build okay so you can see in this weather application we see different layers so first what we will do is we will try to understand the component design what all components we are going to build then we will split our code and we'll design those components as one by one okay so you can see it can be outside wrapper which has some kind of a gradient background and after that inside that we have the child components so if we just talk about what all child components we have this can be one child component and then this can be another child component so we can divide our container inside a two parts okay this can be a flex container flex box justify content center center and the vertical height is 100 vh vertical height because we don't have anything else apart from this and then we divided this complete viewport into two sections you can say that it can be a container inside that we have a row to single row and that row is divided into you can say uh, there are 12 columns so you can divide it into the 5 is to 7 so these are the 5 columns and maybe this is the 7 columns or you can divide it, divide this into half and half like 6 columns in this particular row 6 columns in this particular row these are two divs inside our main container which is justify content sender and uh, vertical height is 100 vh okay now we see these two components now let's try to understand how the data flow is happening with these components this component is i think kind of static so here it is having background image and one one label and one subtitle okay now coming back to this component this component is, is having some kind of a form with customized text field okay which we can do with the css and then when you enter some data we should see some result here so this can be actually a child component this form container can be a totally a child, child component same as this title container okay you can say this is a weather title container and you can call it as a weather form container inside weather form container we have two text fields right and whenever you click on to this method you may be sending this event to the parent component which is the main component there you might be sending this city and country and when you are clicking on to get whether you are actually calling the parent uh, component method and then parent component is making an API call to this open weather uh, API platform and getting the data and then we are able to see the result here if you are not have if you haven't entered any city and country name then obviously we have to show some kind of a message with some styling like please enter the values now if you see this basic application nothing much right uh, we can just look at the basic styling concepts if we just see how it is working then we can just try to explore and see uh, what actually we are doing here okay so I will just try to inspect it and we'll show you how we have divided our components so because it's not responsive that much it's very basic so wrapper we have so wrapper I put a flex container here you can see justify content center align item center and display flex right then we have the main container main container is having this container which is just occupying the 750 pixel and uh, putting the equal spaces from the left and right uh, padding and then we have a row this row is divided into the two parts uh, five column row five column and seven column width okay like five is to seven out of 12 columns and then inside row you can see here is we are using the title container and here we are using a html form that form is sending the input type uh, text field city and country and there is a submit button so that submit button should send an event to the parent component so parent component should receive that data and we will make an api call okay coming to the code it is like a very fairly simple exercise we are going to do is we will write a simple code okay if you try to see what we have in app.js we'll try to simplify it a bit okay so we are using open weather app so we can have that api key okay now this is that root component you can see app component so this component is going to render all our child components so you can see we have divided wrapper main container inside this row we have two columns one is a column 5 one is a column 7 in the column 5 we are rendering the tiles this tile is just as rendering a static jsx which is coming up on the left hand side and then we have app.js and this is the right hand side here we are rendering 
this form container okay and weather component okay weather component is when you have data coming from the api so form container and weather container where we are going to show the weather information like temperature humidity and all so here this form container is pretty much straightforward we have html form on the own submit we are actually calling get method so till now we haven't discussed about class based components so what sorry uh, function components so i will just write this as a class based component class form extends extends component so here we can import that I can just directly extend component and here I will not be passing props here now we are writing a class based component so here I may have a constructor I mean I'm just trying to write the full component props and we will call the parent class constructor by passing the props okay now here we have a render function after constructor and this render function will return this jsx which we are having you can simply say okay and this is a form so we are having a on submit so let's handle it locally and then call the parent class method this dot get weather so there are many ways this dot get weather and you define this get weather here but in this way we will not be able to access this context so there are many ways we will talk about all of these you can do a bind with this object here so this weather method would be able to access this object okay you can just directly do a bind here also then you don't need to write this particular line in the constructor bind okay now you can access this dot props dot get weather because you are calling which you, you are sending this data to the parent component okay if you are not comfortable you can just simply do something like this you are now we are using arrow function this dot get weather so get weather will be arrow function in this particular case or more comfortably uh, you can just this dot get weather you can just directly props dot get weather right there are many ways to do the same thing this should be fine or what we can do is this dot get weather we can call this directly and it can be a simple es6 class function get weather right and we are calling this method to the parent component right so these, these there are different ways to do the this context binding now we are calling get weather get weather we are sending to the parent component and here is our get weather function here also we are calling this dot get weather this dot get weather is you can see here we are using arrow function and uh, if you are using arrow function then you don't need to explicitly bind this function with this object okay so get weather it is actually writing a sync of it because we need to get the data and here from the event object we are actually getting this target element city value or country value so what is the other way to actually achieve this if we are passing the target event object then we have to pass it like this also otherwise we will get an error because we are not passing event object okay because on submit it is actually passing this form event object so that you can extract this city name and country name from there or the better way is you can just have a local state in this component and based on the on change on the input text fields you capture the value and then send it otherwise here we are sending the event object get weather and from and we are passing the same event object other way is just we can have a state object local state object of this component and what do we have is city and country city is initialized with empty country is also initialized with empty and here we can have on change method on change we will do the same thing we will do a constructor binding so this dot this dot handle change and we are passing the event object same event object we can pass 
for the another method which is country and value is actually coming from the state for both the input text here so we can say this dot state dot country uh, this dot state dot city I think simple till now and we have this on change handle change method so this handle change again you are either you can write two different methods for handle change or it, it's a single one first we just need to know what is the event name is coming so here the name attribute is city and name attribute is a country so you can just check the event name what it is coming a dot name and then you can update your state object okay so here what we will do is handle change currently handle city change we can create another method uh, we will explore different methods here handle city and country change so when you are doing city change update the city when you are doing handle country change update the country uh, i'm just starting from the beginners right that's why i'm explaining everything right now but there are many ways of doing this thing in a single method handle city change you are getting event object so what you can do is you can update the state this dot set state okay this is the function so this is the now you can use a callback function also this is the previous state and what we are returning is the previous state comma and we are we are overriding only one thing city change so we are overriding city with new name e dot target dot value so this is the safest way of doing it uh, why it is breaking previous state and city we passed we got the event object here so this should return something and here we are overriding it so it should return this okay this is fine now now it is correct so what we were doing is uh, this is a particular state it should return okay we actually use this bracket we don't need it we can actually directly return this also so when you are returning an object you see uh, just a small catch here when you are returning an object you have to explicitly specify return because it's not something a uh, boolean value if you wanted to return a simple boolean like you can put uh, something like 5 it's work right but when you are actually returning an object you have to return it inside a wrapper so here this will work i have a previous state and i'm just overriding city similarly i will have a country change and here i will be previous state and i'm overriding country only so this is the right way actually to do a state mutation we are always taking care of the previous state and we are overriding on what we had previously okay so once we are done we don't need to deal with event object on the handle submit we don't need to just pass this get weather in this get weather what we can do is we can pass an object i mean for very basic we can create a payload something like this and we can just pass this dot state i mean we can just directly pass this dot state because it is having both the properties this dot state it should have city and country name now we got both the values and we are calling the parent class method this dot get weather so here we are actually getting the city and country name right so what you can do is you can just do a destructuring here from the data i am um, you can get city and you can also get country and you will get both the values so data has both the things you can do a destructuring you get both the properties now we are actually getting some we are making this api call here you can use axios fetch or whatever you want we are using a sync await so this function is returning a sync and uh, here we are just calling fetch then await to get the json city and country both are there then just update the state otherwise just said that please enter the values okay and once we get the data once we get this data temperature city humidity we are already passing this to the weather component and we are passing all the properties 
instead of these scattered properties you can have one just a weather object and then you can just keep updating that weather object based on the argument which you are receiving okay here also it can be simple like i'm just refactoring and you can see a cleaning up this here you can have simple weather object and inside weather object you can have a these nested properties error can be a properties outside this so here we have weather property and inside this we have this is a nested state we are having and this error is outside so now what we can do is state has a weather this dot state dot weather this dot state dot error where is this event object coming from line 21 yes we don't need this <coughs> we can actually do this in the form component itself we are getting this event object to actually stop form from getting submitted event dot prevent default so that our form gets submitted okay let's do the cleanup and uh, here we are passing the city and country both are coming we just need to update the state so here in the state you see two things weather and error right so how you can do it uh, here in the set state method you will you will access the previous state right and previous state and on top of the previous state you will actually updating all these properties so what we are going to return is dot 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 previous state so we'll maintain the previous state and this is these are the new properties we are sending so in the previous state we have weather right so in that case it's a nested property so we have to actually update this as a weather and now this is fine okay error we have something coming outside so same thing we can do for error previous state and error so we have to reset it so we have to actually pass all the arguments I mean previous state weather is this and weather will be empty in this case all the properties when you are getting error so you have to reset whatever you have already in the state and you have to set the error with some message like uh, country and state is empty so this is the first error state, error state we have set and then error which is just a message please enter required data okay now what we are passing to this child component that also matters we have weather component and now inside this weather we have this dot state dot weather so we can just pass this dot state dot weather it equal to this dot state dot weather and rest all these calculations we can do inside a component we don't need to make it lengthy okay we got data now inside weather component you can see this is a functional component you can convert it to a class base that's your choice but we are getting props okay so here instead of just directly returning it we will have to calculation also do something so we'll be returning it later and before that we have to do something okay like we have to calculate the data which is coming from the props okay so here we are getting all these properties this dot state dot temperature and all so this is coming from the state so what you can do is const all these properties temperature humidity and all I'll just show some example and here we are getting props dot data dot weather like this let's see what data we are getting so from app component we are getting this dot state dot weather this dot state dot weather has all these properties so we are getting all these properties here we can destructure them this dot props dot data dot weather props dot data only because in the data we are getting all the properties this dot state dot weather is what these all properties this dot state dot weather and we are passing that in the data so it's an object 
which is we are directly getting. So profile data here we can destructure all the properties and can receive them like temperature, city. We can get temperature, we can get city, we will be getting country and humidity. All these properties we are getting from there itself. So what we can do is we can do a simple destructuring here equal to props dot data. Okay, we received everything. Now we can just directly patch it. So this is destructuring. Even you can do a destructuring at this level also. What you can do is you are getting directly data. You are accessing data directly here. Right, so you don't need to do this. You are already getting data because this is read only, read only component which is receiving data and we are showing. So temperature here we can just simply say data and we are getting all these properties you can just put it here city and country here we can check if we are receiving it then only we'll be able to get it here we can call it as an empty object also so we don't get any null error so city is undefined and will be undefined if data is null okay so we have process of temperature Similarly, you can just remove all these props dot because we are getting data by with the help of destructuring. So this props dot we can avoid. You can do a destructuring before rendering the component. It saves you a lot of code. You can see now it looks cleaner. You can convert this into the class based component also. Uh, we are getting some complaint. Let's see. Duplicate declaration. So it should be simple. We might be using data at multiple places. Okay. You can call it as a payload. From payload, we are getting country and city. This should be fine now. Okay, error is not defined. Component weather.js line 33. Okay, we are not getting error. Okay, that is correct because we are not passing it. So error also we have to explicitly send. We are sending only data. So error also we can send using this.state.error. Okay, so now we will receive the error is not defined because we are not receiving it here. Data and now error. And error we are directly able to access. Okay, now we are successful. So in the next video we will see it live how this is working. Thanks everyone.